I think the biggest difference between the two of them is that the knowledge points in high school are actually limited, but he likes to drill deep within the limited knowledge point test points, which makes some of his questions more and more difficult. The content he learns at a level is extensive. He didn't say to dig deeper into a certain support point, but his whole scope is very wide, including some knowledge that may only be learned in universities in China. In terms of study pressure, I think it is much easier to go to Ealing International School. Uh, I said before that I was going abroad in May and June, and there were still about two months before I started here, so I took almost a month to relearn the physics and mathematics of the three years of high school. This approach reduces pressure during A-level studies. I focused on mathematical technology, physics, and biology at that level. Regarding biological knowledge, my main focus is memorizing specific terms and short answer questions. In the past in China, English was considered weaker compared to other subjects. When I started learning IELTS, it was challenging initially, scoring only 4.5 in the first monthly exam, which upset my mother. This was partly due to the newness of studying for IELTS. So I memorized two or 300 words a day, and the amount of words was actually similar in all aspects.